Hello everyone and welcome to another video talking geeky stuff with me Tenchi and today I'll be focusing on a manga artist this time. So my last few videos has been uh, comic artists. Uh, all of them has been American or or um, not so much Jim Lee because Jim Lee is Korean but I mean like working for American company like Marvel, DC, Image Comics so Western artists. So I thought I'd do a little change and take it to the East this time. So, so today's focus is on Masamuni Shiro. Um, some of you may recognize him. He is the man behind a great classic like Ghost in the Shell, the manga, which has become a a big franchise in his own right, you know, anime, anime movies, TV series, action figures, video games. Yeah, he is the one who created that, you know, the manga series a few years before the anime movie, which was about 92, I think, came out. And I remember reading that. I remember Dark Horse got it and uh, published it, you know, translated into English. Not only that, he also did uh, another great one like Appleseed. Uh, it's been there uh, in a few movies, you know, like OAVs, a couple of uh, CG movies, which I do like, uh, some TV shows. The new one, not so much. I can't remember what it's called because I kind of got put off by the, the CGI graphics on that one. But I do like the manga. Because I love that kind of, kind of like a apocalyptic future, and there were there was a war, World War Three or something like that, if I remember correctly, and uh, they were surviving in the kind of badlands, and then they got taken into Olympus, kind of like a sanctuary, a big city, civilization, great technology, and so on. So definitely check that as well. He also uh, created uh, Dominion or Dominion Tank Police, which also sp uh, spawned an uh, anime TV show. And I remember getting that on VHS when uh, Manga Entertainment in the UK had the rights to publish it. And I really enjoyed it. And after, I think he also created a manga called Orion. I did that, I liked that for a bit. Then I read uh, another manga called Black Magic. I remember there was a one shot, about 50 minutes long anime of that, which wasn't bad, you know. Some of those ones were his lesser known works. But of course, his uh, most well known work is um, Girls in a Show. So, I like about his artwork. It's really, uh, like a lot of Japanese artists, they do a lot of uh, great detail, background details of like cities and good action sequences with those lines that they draw kind of really different to um, a lot of Americans because if, if you read some mangas uh, there's a lot more artwork than story not story I mean like text because you kind of you can see why manga lends itself to anime because it's almost like panel for panel it's almost like um, a storyboard so that's why it's so easy for anime to adapt a manga because the manga has done all the storyboarding for you, you know. And here's some uh, covers for the Ghost in the Shell that he did. Um, he was one of the few artists who has like a major change. You know, when you first uh, read his manga like Dominion Tank Police, um, Apple Seed, you really, you know, hand drawn. I didn't have any color. And slowly what happened is um, he adapted to technology. So a lot of his work started to uh, use, use CG, you know, a lot of computer graphics and so on. Uh, I'm a big fan of his artwork because, not just because of you know, the great dynamic action sequences, great designs, mech designs and so on, but I kind of haven't read a manga into uh, after reprint of Ghost in the Shell, I kind of got, got his art books. 
I think I got volume one to four, or is it one to three? I need to check it. It's in my cupboard somewhere of a art book that he done called Intron Depot, and and you can see from volume one to volume three, it, it kind of evolved a lot. For volume one, you can see it was a mixture of hand drawn, hand colored paints, a bit of mix between uh, computer graphics, and then volume two, you see he uses a little bit more. Uh, computer graphics coloring and then the third one he incorporated a lot of 3d artwork as well I think that a lot of his work artwork in today's world may not go down too well because <laughs> you can clearly see that he has um, he draws women in uh, you know <clears throat> pretty pretty explicit positions clothing you know, so on and so forth, right? And borderlines on, as the Japanese call it, hentai, hentai, hentai. That's it. And trust me, when I was doing uh, getting um, images for this, there was a lot of um, images which I found as a designer, as an artist, I think they were great coloring, composition, just the style from an artist's point of view was great, but they were explicit. Naked women, you know, in the in the hentai kind of form, and so on. So it wasn't appropriate for <laughs> this presentation. So I I kind of borderlined it. Hopefully, I get away with it anyway. But from an artist's point of view, design point of view, I think they're fantastic. You know, yeah, you can argue they are a bit kind of explicit. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I don't think his artwork will go down too well, especially in the West. But I do like, I mean, sex on the aside, I mean, just like, just look at the, 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 the use of graphics behind, you know, the composition, the little details of like the, the clothing, how he uses, this looks like, you know, the way he does the shading of, you can tell this is leather, the type of material, and so on. But, at the same time, there's a lot of, um, people who love this kind of artwork, you know, you know hey, whatever floats your boat, I suppose, right? Just to end off saying that, if you get a chance, and this is not your kind of thing, that's cool, but I do recommend definitely get his earlier stuff, say like uh, Ghost in the Shell, it's a great start, you know, read it, read the, you can buy the, the compilation, in one book, read that and see how it inspired the anime. You know, there's a lot of differences, but at the same time, there's a lot of similarities as well. Then also check out um, Appleseed, great sci-fi um, action. The Minion Tank Police, I think has fun characters in that. So them three series I'll definitely, definitely recommend. As for any... Um, manga or upcoming manga artists you want some inspiration i would say definitely get some of his art books as well definitely get like in john depot one two and three i think there's like four or five i'm not, I'm not really sure i need to uh, check on that um yes some of those artworks do have um you know women in in you know less clothing in sexual positions and, and so on and so forth yeah right but from an artist's point of view Definitely check it out because you do get some inspiration on just the coloring, the designs, you know, the poses, the composition. Focus on that and definitely you can get inspired by some of his work. But anyway, I have to leave it there. And trust me, there was a lot of lot of images I had to well I came across that was like, wow, okay. You know, I mean, I haven't really checked on him for some time. But I didn't realise he got into almost you know, hentai kind of mangas. No, I'm not sure how I feel about that. You know, if you know if he pays the bills, he gets commissioned to it. Why not? But you know, I just maybe want him to go back and do some like cool quality cyberpunk sci-fi stories, like Ghost in the Shell kind of thing. But maybe he he has, but you know, haven't haven't kept up with what he's done in the last few years. So. He may have released a, 
a mini series or something. So I will definitely check out what he's done recently. But for the time being, I just want to, well, before I wrap this up, let me know what you think of uh, Masamuni Ashiro's work. You know, are you a fan of his uh, manga before he become kind of a, a hentai artist, so to speak? And please give this video a like if you like it, of course. And please consider subscribing to hear me talk more geeky stuff. Anyway, I'd like to say thank you and good morning. Good afternoon and good evening wherever you are in the world and uh, please stay safe. Until next time, goodbye.